Alright, welcome back to episode 2. We're actually going to record two episodes in one day. Um, look at that chair still sitting there. This shit was glitching in the last episode. Day 1, and it's already glitching. Now we need to go upstairs, talk to Sammy and Alice. We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ! Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, open I'm your not eyes. wanting you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for. Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. Well, I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know Ellis. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can now uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Go on. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Langan a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay and help. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like the head, but they'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. I'm be working as a waiter. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. Look at that Don King Harry boy. Look at that Whoopi Goldberg right behind him now. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, shot. Good show, brother. Thanks. Hello. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessings mine, ma'am. Couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, yeah. son. It's a fucking shit show. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. 
Lincoln, we got trouble. Run, Regine. Once we're done with you, Lincoln, Sammy's next. Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were yeah, hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? We got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on Valor started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. But this thing with the Haitians... It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s, folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet, away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lié que c'est divers c'est suscite hostilité. You sure this is how you want to play this? Last thing they're gonna expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the road. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us.
Papa Legba, open the gate for me. Atibon Legba, open the gate for me. Open the gate for me, Papa. For me to pass. When I return, I will thank you. What? Don't take a body! Shoot him! Get in low! I'll put one in his ear! Shoot him from... Think about it! Shoot him! Let's eat that fucker! Everybody get behind me. Watch out! Wait your people, Katsuka! It's... I'll blow your head off! Never been my uh, my strong point. How many men we send it? Two teams. One's gonna hit the bar. The other's going after Perlis. Boss says if we have to burn down half the hollow to get to Sammy, we're doing it. Ain't stopping till that old man's dead. Him, Alice, and the other one. Lincoln Clay. He's the one. Papa Legba, open the gate for me. Atibon Legba, open the gate for me.
got something. I think I have to go around the house. Probably should go that way. I think the boss was worried that Sammy would involve Marcon, asking to huh? come down on us. Blood don't make you wet. I will look over here. Oh! Ooh, that boy don't know. Punch you in the face. Alright, I like this shit. I like this shit a lot. Anybody in here? Oh, bust raggedy ass car though. Uh. Down right there. Now I'm starting to get the hang of it. it it's, it's coming a lot easier. Huh? Yeah. 
He's not one of us! God damn fuck him up! Just had to start something. Reloading! Cover me! Not to keep blending! No! Stealth is a little too slow for me, but I'm loving it right now. Huh? 
Better see who that is. Should come around this boat and see how it works exactly. He goes. She's fucked up the hit on Samuel. Wouldn't have been bad if they got the motherfucker. Big mistake going after the hollow. The man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. Take it easy. 
Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me. I kiss you, motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's dead! He can't hurt you anymore. It's over. Over? Over! <laughs> this is never going to be over. Pajam! Fucking Haitians. Just had to start something. Sammy's boy is in there! Get him! Something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. I Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush the violence don't mean he lost something. Jesus Christ, what are you doing, man? The thing Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, 
is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was right, never guys, going in. Let you watch the rest of this. Um, but when it's up, I'll see you people later. Bye. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the well. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Pay him his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. I always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. <laughs>